Hey, thanks for finding us on YouTube. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical update. You know, we just don't have a lot of time sometime in the newscast to really dive into things and talk about tropics. So that's what we get to do here on YouTube. We do this every day, a little bit after 4 p.m., even on the weekends. So if you get a chance, make sure and find us and join us uh, as we are again getting to explore more about what exactly is happening in the tropics and for the Atlantic Basin, which is what most of us in the US are focused on when we talk about hurricane season. Things are remaining quiet and that is good news. No complaints there that the National Hurricane Center is saying over the next five days. No tropical cyclone formation is expected in the Atlantic Basin. Now over the Pacific, things are continuing to become a little bit more active overall. We've been watching Estelle and it is currently a tropical storm and it's currently on the way out. It's declining in its organization and in its strength. So at 4 p.m., our latest update has 50 mile an hour sustained winds. The movement is still around 15 miles an hour, and we'll see this last a couple more days. Maybe even by this time tomorrow, we're losing the tropical characteristics overall. We're looking for those 35 mile an hour sustained winds uh, tomorrow in the afternoon on Thursday afternoon, and so we're going to drop quite a bit from where we are right now at those 50 mile an hour winds. So again, a is sort of on the way out overall. There is still one other area in the Pacific that the Hurricane Center is monitoring. Yesterday it was a 20% chance of development over five days, now looking at a 30%, and I think this will continue to do that, uh, increase a little bit, becoming a little bit more organized in this part uh, of the Pacific, and that again might become something tropical if given a little bit more time. So I, I in the comments or, or in the description of this uh, YouTube video, I asked the question, uh, how many hurricanes has the Atlantic Basin seen so far this season? And it was a little bit of a trick question because while we have had three named storms, uh, none of those have actually become hurricane strength. So Bonnie is a little bit of a, again, a trick question because if you'll remember, Bonnie started in the Atlantic Basin and then moved over uh, across Central America and into the Pacific and then became a hurricane. So as far as the Atlantic is concerned, Bonnie did not become a hurricane. It was only a tropical storm. So a little bit of a trick question. If that was one of the reasons why we, I got you to click and watch our video, uh, thanks for, for making it and leave, feel free to leave me a comment below if you'd like, but uh, only uh, in the Atlantic we've had tropical storms so far. And if you're keeping count overall, uh, the Pacific has had uh, six named storms. Uh, remember, Bonnie counts as an extra, so they've come through uh, the E name, plus they added one more on there. Uh, when Bonnie crossed over, uh, they got, uh, again, kind of a bonus there. Hey, I hope you're following me on social media. If you're not, here is an official invitation. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even if you're not in the Houston area, especially Instagram is a great way to kind of focus on that hurricane preparedness a little bit. So if you're looking for some ideas, my hurricane gear test, I give some of those uh, on Instagram. Again, if you want to look me up, I'm at John Dawson Fox 26. Thanks for stopping by today. Again, make sure you check back tomorrow. We'll be here with another tropical update.